as a travel photographer, international, private, small group tour guide, I'm constantly flying, which means over the years I've learned some of the most important things about flying. And I want to share with you today my top 10 tips for how to travel efficiently as well as avoid jet lag on your next international flight. Travel tip number one is eat, drink, sleep. Not necessarily in that order, but you want to make sure that when you're traveling, you eat as much as you possibly can. That might sound kind of strange, but you need that energy. It's so exhausting traveling, and if you don't eat and have a proper nutrition as you're flying, you're going to be exhausted when you arrive. Start eating as soon as you get to the airport, and don't stop till you get to your destination. Pick up a local bottle of water just after you come through security. Yes, it's going to cost a million dollars plus tax, but it's worth every penny because you need to drink when you're on the plane. It is so dry on an airplane, it'll dehydrate you and make you so exhausted by the time you arrive. But of course, like I said, don't forget the last and most important piece. Sleep as much as you possibly can. Sleep on the plane, sleep in the airport, sleep on the ground, sleep in every possible situation that you can find, and you won't be exhausted when you arrive. Travel tip number two is to bring pillows, and not just any pillows, not that stuff from home, but bring specific travel pillows. One for around your neck that'll keep your neck supported when you want to sleep, and one for behind your back. A lot of the plane seats are so uncomfortable, and if you don't have nice support behind your back, you're going to arrive in an extreme amount of pain. You want to be really comfortable while you're flying, so take those two pillows with you. I love the air-filled pillows. They fold really smallly into your bag and then make it really easy to fill up to the exact size that you need while you're flying. Check them out and get them for your next flight. Travel tip number three is to bring comfortable clothes while you're traveling. These may look like normal jeans, but they're actually extremely flexible, which means that when you're sitting, it doesn't cut off circulation from your legs, which would be terrible because it's not only gonna put you in pain, but it's gonna make it really uncomfortable for your whole legs once you try to stand up and walk around. Also make sure you bring a little jacket with you because it gets pretty cold on the plane and the last thing that you want is to arrive sick to your destination. So make sure you bring a light jacket with you and stay warm under that ice cold air that's always on the plane. Tip number four is to have some kind of app on your phone or some way of tracking your flights to make it so much easier than like everybody else going up to the board and trying to read through hundreds of flights to figure out where yours is and what time it's actually taking off. So instead get an app like and be able to check live updates of where it's flying into, exactly what terminal, exactly what gate, if it's on time, if it's delayed, and all the other things you would need to know about the airport you're leaving from or arriving to. Tip number five is to go and ask for an upgrade right before you get on your flight. It might seem kind of strange, but that's actually the best time and the most likely time that you're to get the cheapest upgrade to either business or first class. Throughout the whole checking process, they slowly decrease the price. So the right before you get on the plane is the last moment that they have to sell the ticket. And if you go and they still have something available, you might get lucky and get an upgrade for a very inexpensive price. Travel tip number six, is to bring with you all of the chargers or anything that you would need to plug in to charge your devices like your phone, your cameras, things like that. You can usually plug them in right at the airport as well as a lot of planes now have plugs right under the seat so you can actually plug in and charge while you're flying which is great. You might also want to bring with you just one change of clothes so that you're not running to catch your flight and missing the luggage that you... I don't know what I said. Or bring one change of clothes because Heaven forbid your, your travel suitcase or your luggage gets delayed or even lost by the airline. At least you have something to wear for the next day so that you can go and do your shopping and not have to worry about going shopping immediately because you have extra clothes with you. Of course, you're going to need to use the bathroom, but when is the best time? Well, if you get on a plane, often just after you've taken off, you'll hear a bing and then somebody will come on and say, you're now free to use your electronics and we're going to turn off the fasten seatbelt sign. That's one of the best times because most people go to the bathroom just before getting on the plane, so you have the bathroom really to yourself. The next best time is when people on the plane, the stewardess, announce that they're going to start serving drinks or start serving meals. Just before that, when you hear that, go to the bathroom really quickly because no one's going to be up going to the bathroom at that time. 
everyone goes right after the meal is served. So that's the worst time to go, is just after the meal or drinks. Try to go before and you'll be fine. Another super important tip is to move around while you're on the plane. Don't just sit in the seat the whole flight. Get up at least once every two hours, walk around, stretch, move around, and try and loosen up a little bit because not only will you be really uncomfortable when you arrive into your destination, but you're going to be really exhausted too. So this is one of my best tips to avoid jet lag. And in conjunction with drinking lots of water, move around as much as you can. Tip number nine, probably the most important thing that I can share with you about how to get over and avoid jet lag is from the moment that you arrive at the airport you're leaving from, switch your clocks to the destination time. Start eating and sleeping according to that time zone because the sooner you can convert, the easier it will be once you arrive to not have to try and suffer with a big change in time zone. Get over it as soon as you can and it will be a much, much better experience in the place that you're traveling to. Travel tip number 10, the very last one on the list, is there are two programs available, TSA PreCheck and Global Access. Global Access allows you to also have TSA PreCheck kind of built in, but both programs allow you to skip the line at security, getting you through so much faster and more efficiently. Global Access also allows you to come back in the country avoid some of the long lines for coming through customs. So it makes it so much faster and easier and better for you to travel. It costs a little bit of money, but it's worth every penny. So go and sign up today. Until next time, enjoy your travels. Take care. Goodbye.